Hello and welcome to the VFX Wizard. I will be showing you how to use the effects I am giving for free on this channel to do your own magic or any other effects on your own projects and videos. For this example I will be using the Protego spell and as you can see here I've just added it on the top of a footage of Snape doing a little bit of a wand movement here. You can use any video editing software that you have. I will be using for this demonstration Premiere Pro, a very common video editing program. And we're gonna go to the YouTube channel where you can browse through a variety of different spells. And once you have a video selected for this example, we have the Protego video. All you have to do is download the video from YouTube using an extension, a YouTube downloader, or you can Google any of the websites which offer you a way to download a YouTube video. Once you have the video, you can click and drag it into your project on Premiere, or you can already place it on a layer on top of your footage. Now you're gonna get this little intro on the start, which is just the brand of the channel. All you have to do is scroll over on the timeline to the moment where it fades away and the effect starts. And then you can cut this by dragging the start of the clip all the way to the point in the timeline where the effect starts. Then you can move forward again and find the ending of your effects. And in this example, we have many variations of the Protego spell in different colors and you just choose the one which suits better your needs and you find the ending here and you just cut it again but here's a little tip you can simply press C on your keyboard and it's going to change to a cutting tool and then you can just cut it there and press V to go back to the selecting tool and then you can delete the rest and just drag this portion of the video back to the area on the timeline where your footage is. Now for videos which have a black background, it is very simple to remove this. All you have to do is click on the clip and go into the effects control and go into the options of the opacity and change the blending mode to screen. This is going to be the most useful thing you're going to learn to how to use these effects. And basically what the screen mode does is remove all of the black. Now, one of the things you want to do as well is position the effect where you want on the footage. And for doing that, you need to go into the effects control again and select the motion area here. And then you open this and you have the position, the scale, the rotation, all of these options. Also, once you select this, is going to appear little squares over here on your footage. And then you can click and drag these to change the scale and just click and drag it to select the position. Now we also need to put it on the right moment where the spell happens on the footage, which is around here. It's going to start right here while he's waving the wand. So we're just going to drag this right here and see if the timing is correct. So yeah, it's happening just in the right time, but now we want to change the position of it. So you're going to click on the motion and we want to make this around the same size of, as his whole body, like if he had a shield in front of him. So something like this. Let's just check. And yes, it's looking pretty good. So this is all of the basics. Now I'm going to give you a little tip on how to make this more realistic. Now you have the effect on top of your footage. What you want to do is move it one layer more to the top and you want to go into your project area here and you want to click on this symbol of new item and you want to create a color mat and you just click OK and you choose a similar color to the effect. In this case it's just a light blue and then it's going to ask for a name. You can put light hit OK and then you have the solid blue here which you can click and drag and you can put it on the same moment in the timeline as your effect you can cut it down right here and delete the rest and then you have this blue and you can't see anything so you need to go here into the eye symbol and just 
Disable the layer for a second, so you see the footage. And with the layer selected, you want to go to the opacity options. And then you can do a mask here. So we're going to do a little area here on the ground where the light would be shining and a little bit over his body here as well. And then we close the mask and we can toggle back the visibility of the layer. And then it's just a solid blue. Then what you want to do is go into the blending mode and try out what fits better to make a realistic light. You can try screen, you can try add, you can try color dodge. And in this case, we're going to use color dodge. What we need to do is lower the opacity. So all you have to do is lower the opacity to something like this. And then you need to fade the borders of the mask. So what you're going to do is go into the mask options, into the feather options, and you're going to click and drag on this value to raise up the feather of the mask. So it just looks very smooth here. And here you go, you can see it kind of creates this fake light in the scene. And all we have to do now is animate a fade in and a fade out according to the effect. All we have to do is click on the border here with our right mouse button and apply a default transition. This is going to create a fade. Now it's too long in this case for spells are very quick so you need to make this fade faster just like this and then you're gonna see lights up with the spell and then you want to fade it out too by clicking with the right button and apply a default transition. Now we want to adjust the timing here as well. We're going to make the fade shorter and we're just going to cut it shorter around here. So right after we have this big explosion here of light, it just needs to start to fade right away, you know. So it just glows up for a second. You can see the light on the ground and on Snape. And there you go, you just need to play a little bit with these, maybe change the velocity, change the opacity for whatever you need. And you can do this on any footage, any project that you want. And all you have to do is browse the YouTube channel for any effects that you are searching for and just use what you see that fits better. Let's say, for example, we want to make this even more epic. We can get another effect here to make it look like he shoots back another spell here at the end. I'm just going to freeze the last frame here for a few more seconds so we have some more time here. I'm just going to take here now a Patronus effect we have for free on the channel. I'm going to cut it on the same way as I showed you before, just where the clip starts right here, delete the intro, and then we're gonna come over here, we're gonna move this to a top layer, and move to the correct point in the timeline, we're going to change the blending mode to screen, and then we're just gonna try to fit this effect, and why am I using this if it's not a Patronus we want to do, well I want you to learn to play with these, you need to learn how to use this in different ways and change them. So what we want to do here is just go into the motion and start to position this. Let's rotate it to the correct side where the spell is shooting. Let's just scale up and position the glow right on top of the wand right there. So it looks like it's shooting something just like this. Now this looks very slow so we can right click on the clip and change the speed here. We can change this to like something let's say four times faster so let's put 400 percent and then it's going to move very much quicker just like this you see. We can select the clip and we can go into the effects and type here curves and then you can apply this RGB curves effect on the video. And then over here you can change the colors of the effect a bit. So we can go for example on the red here line and just click to create a little dot and change this up. And I'm just trying to show you here how you can really change things up 
to just look the way you want. So I hope this gives you an idea of how to get the effects, use them on Premiere Pro for example, or any other editing software you're using, and how you can blend things together and make something very, very cool. If you have any questions, any doubts about how to use this, please leave a comment. And if you enjoy these effects and you want to have more and more of them coming up, leave a like and subscribe to get all of the updates for new effects. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time.